simple um, extracts that we make beyond just vanilla. And and it's delicious and it, it's super easy to make. There's only three ingredients. Uh, we start out with uh, one ounce of our um, Sri Lankan vanilla beans. And we have one cup of cacao um, uh, nibs. And then we have eight ounces of white rum. Uh, today we're going to be using Bacardi, um, but you can use any. I mean, we've got a, a, a big bottle of Bacardi here, so we're going to use what we have on hand. But you your know, favorite white rum will do. Yes, your favorite Captain Morgan, whatever you've got on hand, it's going to be just fine. Yep. Okay. So, um, oh, I wanted to show you um, in the book, one of these reference pages that we have, we have this uh, plotting chart. Um, and I really love it because um, a lot of times you're just wondering what are the difference between all of these um, beans that we have and, and what are the flavor profiles. So if you can take a look, did if you can come close in here onto the book, um, you can see we divide up all of the, um, the profiles by light and sweet on the top and then dark and earthy at the bottom. And then over to the left, there is buttery and creamy. And then on the right, bold and fruity. Now, if you want to look, we're using Sri Lankan. That comes under the bold and fruity, dark and earthy. A little bit closer to bold and fruity. So it's going to add some nice, bold. There's already kind of a, a mocha um, chocolatey essence to the Sri Lankan and so it's going to be a nice addition to this um, extract. So I just wanted to show you the um, plot chart and you can see at the top there's the light and the sweet and then you've got dark and earthy on the bottom, buttery creamy over here and bold and fruity. Madagascar is right here between the light and the sweet and the butter and creamy and that's the one that we you know that's the most commonly used vanilla. So when you think of vanilla, it's usually Madagascar. But what we're using today is the Sri Lankan, which comes all the way over here to the other side between the bold and fruity and um, the dark and earthy. And so it's going to, it already has um, kind of a uh, mocha cacao flavor to the Sri Lankan beans. So it's going to be a wonderful accent to this um, to this extract. Yep, we love it. And as you're reading the book, that's how we experienced all these vanilla beans. When we were first being introduced, we would have these parties where we'd open them up and smell them. We'd be like, oh my gosh, this one's chocolate and this one's fruit and this one. And then we would try to capture all those things in some way to explain it. And so that's been our experience. That's how we experienced all these beans. And we like Sri Lankan because it has a lot of cacao, like chocolate undertones with it that we think is really, really good for a chocolate extract. Yeah. It's delicious. Okay, so really the only um, ingredients here, we're going to start with the one ounce of our Sri Lankan beans. Uh, remember, you always want to weigh them um, to make sure you've got that one ounce to be consistent. I've got one ounce right there. Uh, we were gifted, I just want to show, we were gifted by one of our um wonderful Facebook friends, this wonderful cutting board. I'm going to turn it over because I don't want to ruin it. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to oh, cut on the back side. I'm going to cut on the back side because I want to keep that side nice. It's beautiful. One yeah. of our friends from Iowa, and it actually, it's a beautiful cutting board. So thank you. Thank you know you who you so are. Much. Yes. Okay. So again, you can keep them whole. Um, I want to, because I'm going to top it with the cacao, I Need these beans to be small so they don't poke out. Um, so I'm going to tie a few of them to keep them whole because then later on um, I can slice them open and use them for ice cream or custards or those kinds of things where you want to see those vanilla specks in. So, uh, you know, maybe I'm going to do this to maybe like three. That's a monster one. This right one's there, huge, isn't, isn't it? That. Oh, yeah. I just pulled that tip There you tip go. Off. Jill's been working out. Oh, I know. Rips vanilla beans with one single. We don't even need that. Now one. that now that that one is, I'll just cut that one. <laughs> Boy, I am stronger than I thought. Okay, so I'm gonna tie like three of these, and then I'm really just gonna cut the rest of these in tiny little pieces that they'll fit perfectly in my jar. And the important part here is that you get a jar that's going to be big enough to hold the eight ounces of vodka the one cup of cacao and this ounce of beans. And this 
is our French um, square bottle that we have on our website. And it's, it's nice. It has a, a bigger opening. It fits well in my, um, in my cupboard. It's a 16 ounce size. And it's 16 ounces. And so it's double the amount of the liquid and it's going to be perfect. It's going to yeah. fit right up to the top once we get all of that in there. And then as we go through and we, um, you know, when we're done with the extracts, you'll see, and we'll talk about this when we get to the orange cacao, is we downsize our bottles. We start big and then sort of downsize as we're making them to free bottles up to use for new extracts again. And then when we go into our final bottles, they're usually the smallest ones we can find. Yes. Okay, I'm just going to put in the cacao. Ooh. I know they have like canning funnels that you can put on these, but for this jar, it's a little big. But if you had a mason jar, um, you could in. put... I will be the funnel here. Oh, there we go. Are we going too slow? There we go. <laughs> I'm just watching it all. You can go ahead and pour it in. All so of it? Yep. Okay, okay. Teamwork. Teamwork. There we, we go. We washed our hands. Universal precautions for all my nurses out there. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Once a nurse, always a nurse, no matter what. Okay. Microbiology changed Jill's life. It did. It scared the hell out of me. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so now all we have to do is add the rum. So we've got our Bacardi here. We are going to add eight ounces. We'll get questions. Can you use a vodka? Can you use other? You can. Um, on this one, we just love the taste of the chocolate and the vanilla, and we want them to be as unencumbered as possible. And so we love a white rum for that reason. It's kind of oh. clear like a vodka, but it's sugar-based, so it's a little extra sweetness. Sometimes, too, we see with the with the rum, even a white rum, it might take even a little longer to extract because it is a little bit stronger than a vodka. But that sugar base, in our experience, especially with the chocolate, just accentuates the sweetness. And so we love the white rum. Yeah. Yeah. It's wonderful. Okay, so you're just going to put on your labeling. I've got my chocolate vanilla. I'll put the date that I started it on the bottom. I like to put the page number, so if I have any questions with change outs or anything, um, I don't have to like go through the book. I just know really quickly, oh, that recipe's on page 92. So this is going to go for three months, and then at three months, I'm going to check this, and I'm going to check the cacao. I want to know if it's chocolatey enough. If I want it to be more chocolatey, I'll leave it in for another three months. Um, you could always add even more cacao, but I've add, I've just let this um, you know soak a little bit longer and it's add a little more um, cacao flavor. Um, there's an entire ounce of um, vanilla beans in here. And so this extract is a vanilla extract with cacao. And so it requires the entire 12 months to um, get the the oils out of uh, the ounce of beans. Yeah, we the, the purpose of this one is to have that vanilla really come forward. And the reason is it's chocolate and vanilla. It's the world's two favorite flavors. And so we didn't want it to be chocolate with a hint of vanilla. We're trying to make it equal vanilla, equal chocolate, where they both blend together in a nice extract. And that's the reason that we've got the full one ounce single fold vanilla in the bottle. Yeah, I didn't want to uh, have to give up on my vanilla because I'm adding chocolate extract. I wanted to have equal bulk, and this is the perfect um, solution to that. There you go. So how easy was that? For any of you first timers, it's one of our favorites. Uh, the cacao nibs, uh, the vanilla beans, a white rum, put it in a jar and you wait. And uh, right now it's clear the cacao is, it's all actually sinking, which is nice. Mm -hmm. Sometimes with the coffee beans, they'll float and when we do like a mocha or others, but these all sit nicely underneath. And now we just wait. Yeah, and, the, it. and it's nice that the vanilla beans are on the bottom. So sometimes when they're on the top, they'll float. And then if some of them are exposed on the surface, they, are, they aren't extracting. And so it, it's nice to put those on the bottom. Yep. So we're doing a change out again where we're, we're, we're checking months. in in three months. So. This one we'll put on the calendar, and who knows what it's going to bump into. We might have eight extracts that day. So uh, come back three months from now. We'll be doing that update. We'll see where we're at. We have some crazy spreadsheets. We have some crazy <laughs> spreadsheets. We love our spreadsheets.